What are you doing? Working on my windshield for my 1992 Studebaker station wagon. If you know what I'm saying. Y'all yeah. don't understand <laughs> how fun this is. A lot of work, don't get me wrong. This, this is kind of funny. It's pretty funny. Come on down. <laughs> no. Anyways, as we told you in the last video, not this one. Cool thing to boat check you there, buddy. Anyways, this weekend is run what you bring a Mountain View. Uh, so we are bringing a sheet metal station wagon. As you can tell, customary back window is tinted. Um. I'm really excited to see how this goes. I want to see all the different ideas that come out, and I'm hoping at least one open wheel has about an eight foot tall billboard on the side of their car. So, but we'll see. And this is every class. Yeah, like every class, like six, like four cylinders can do it, and front, front wheel drives, drive. and you know, just so it's it's gonna be crazy to see what all shows up. So we might do a little pit walk for you. Yeah, we will. Cause that'll be super interesting. We'll try to get the track early. Yeah, yeah, track early. <laughs> I mean, since we don't have two hours, they open at two. Drivers meetings at like four fifteen or something. So we got to get there when they open. Get a booking, get a go. So we're gonna get there and do a little walk around of the things, commentate about the things we see and the things we don't see. Uh, Cause you'll have them, them sticks in the mud that ain't gonna do nothing. So, anyway, we gotta finish. The right side wing panel, finish the spoiler that's huge, it's two feet tall. And then we're going to put a little wingy dude up right here on this side and close another part of the car in that on any other night you can't close in because uh, it puts a lot of downforce on the front of the car and keeps air out from under it. And it's illegal in the rules, but we're going to put one in there anyway since it's no body rules and see what happens. Let it keep the air out from under the car and keep as much up against the billboard there as we can get. And we know like eight foot tall, blah, 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 but that's... Sometimes you just ain't got the material at hand. That is correct. So we, we had a little bit, so that's what we're using. Got to go to the old... PPM tomorrow and get some flat bar to brace this puppy up. So, we'll catch in, what's today, Wednesday? Yeah, Wednesday. Still waiting on ball joints. Uh, ordered those on Monday for whatever reason they didn't get shipped. Today. Yesterday. Or no. It was this morning or yesterday morning. Either way. They didn't get shipped when I ordered them, so they're a day late from when I was supposed to get them. So, um, so, we're doing body work. so yeah, we're doing this mess. And we got some cool stickers we're going to put on here because Mountain View's giving a hundred buck. Three fans are going to get to choose three cars to give a hundred dollar check. check to. It's, and what, what that means is, is that the check has a hundred dollar bill graphic on it, but yeah. it has like the coolest design yeah and ghouls and ghosts or whatever trick so or cheaters yeah trick or cheaters uh so we're gonna try to win that you know hopefully i, I got something cool to go on my helmet that hopefully shows up and hunters hunters got a surprise for everybody too y'all don't even want to know <laughs> you don't want to know but you do so trust me you're gonna need a pee pad when you see this because it's gonna be funny I'm excited. I can't even deny. Oh man. So we're uh, we're gonna sign out for tonight, and we'll catch you guys back tomorrow or Friday. Yep. Stay tuned. So what are we doing? Putting a tire on where we had an incident at 75. Oh yeah. Hunter's putting that together, and Kyle's we getting everything on. set up, put the lights up, and got that other wheel off. We're at Springs Mountain View in Spring City.
So they are doing the run what you brung. Everybody's put wings and different tires and all kinds of ridiculous things together for tonight. It's also our truck or treat. So we'll have all kinds of kids coming in the pits and seeing all the cars and people dressing up. So it's gonna be a fun night and we'll see you guys in a bit. All right guys, so I know I mentioned earlier the run what you brung and some of y'all might just think I have a really awful accent, but um, once a year, sometimes every other year, just depends on the track, they do uh, run what you brung. You can do engine modifications, body modifications, wheel modifications. You can just cheat your little face off and it's not cheating for tonight. So um, every class gets to do it. It's kind of like Halloween for the cars. We already have Halloween for the kids, but um, Kyle and Hunter have spent a lot of time this week making all these modifications, and we're just gonna go around the car and kind of show you guys what all they've done because it's kind of cool. Of course, Kyle's helmet for tonight, the pumpkin. We have a new wing on the passenger side and some awesome new stickers thanks to J2 Graphics. Um, we have a big wing on the back. And when I say big, I don't mean like just a few inches. Like, I don't know if you can see how big this is. You really can't. Um, there's my arm. It's, it's as big as, bigger than my forearm, all the way to my fingers. Um, we made a wing all the way from in front of where Kyle sits to the back. It is supported very well. It's not going anywhere. So hopefully it'll make a difference. They seem to think it will. Got a little baby wing up front on the nose also supported so it's not going to go anywhere and then this morning they have closed off the engine compartment so we took the lid off they put all these wings and did body modifications we took the roof off so Kyle can get in it from the roof because you can't climb in it with a big old piece of Lexan on it um, we didn't do any engine modifications because that's just a little more permanent than we want to try to do so Anyway, we'll see how it works. Uh, we're supposed to get hot lap qualifying and then a race, but because of all the modifications, um, the track has decided that we're gonna get hot laps and then we will go into qualifying and then we'll get to race. So that way we can see what these wings, um, everybody else has done some awesome modifications. We'll see them as they go out. Um, just see how our cars adjust to them so we can make the adjustments that we need to to actually be able to run them instead of go out there for a couple of laps and then go feature so we really appreciate the track thinking about us like that and making sure that we have the track time that we need to do this so anyway we'll be doing hot laps here shortly
guys. I used to not do this, and I don't know if Kyle will put it in the video, but Kyle is at the driver's meeting. Hunter's been doing his tires, doing the tires and all, all the other things. We changed the gear. Um, but we have a surprise. One of our sponsors has showed up and they are super special to us and our family. And we're so glad that um, there's an early race this year and that they can make it out here. Um, you'll get to see Kyle and Hunter be surprised because they have no idea that they're even coming. So we'll see you guys here in a minute and I'll show you who they are. <laughs> How's it going? You know you're gonna be on YouTube, right? Absolutely. Hi. Where are we going? We're going over to that building. Well, Tim found the car and Hunter has gone to the truck, so I don't even know if he notices him. There he is. He's figured it out. Sorry for the wobbly recording, but. What's going on, honey? Uh, you know, getting interviewed by outside. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a big deal to us. Very big. Uh, we watch this guy all the time. Yep. And he's got the outside group show coming up in February up toward Knoxville or in Knoxville. I forgot where it's at. Uh, we've went to it, I think, every year that he's had it. It's a great deal. It's growing every year. Uh, it's a great It's a great exhibit for all the racing people, um, especially dirt racers, a lot of vendors, a lot of different parts places that come there, and even series, uh, car series that show up. So very big deal, and Kyle's getting interviewed, so pretty cool. Hey Hunter. Are you excited? Yeah.
qualifying, but even the qualifying stage. Um, I'm not really sure what to think about it. The car pushed really, really bad. Um, even with the changes we made to stop that, it got worse. Um, so we'll just have to go back to the drawing board and see what we can do for the feature. Stay tuned. The intermission's coming up. We're going to have a lot of kids in the car. Candy giving out. You got a surprise for us. Stay tuned. Well, we almost held on to it. Uh, Scott Sheldon in the 5M, he is on the pole, so we are second, which is the first row outside. So, the whole got bumped by one position and all of these people, and I guess we're going to make a couple more adjustments and we'll go out there and see how the future goes. Hunter. kids come up and love it uh, but you know just how the penguin flops you never know so anyways uh, we're gonna start the feature outside the pole super happy about that I'm gonna get out of this thing because I'm sweating my fins off uh, so yeah anyways guys thank you for watching stay tuned for the feature and we'll get you some good content thank you Oh. 
broke a tie rod um, and flattened the right front. We don't have a spare here, which is the feature. So I don't know why I said that in a sense. Uh, this sucks. This was our last race of the season. I hate to see it go down like this. But he put on a heck of a show. Drove his tail up. I'm proud of him. We've had an amazing season. Guys, and thank you all for being here with us. We hope to bring a lot of good content in this off season. And as always, guys, thank you for watching. We'll see you next week. Peace out, people. come to talk to you about the events of yesterday since we didn't get a video last night I'll put a picture up of how we left the racetrack somewhere right here so uh, we uh, as you see Sasha took a lot of video um, we went up with our crazy wing wing stuff here and qualified second um, we were still like what eight tenths off of Shelton like he is such a big motor and somebody as experienced as him and give them that big of an advantage with literally a billboard there's no catching that dude so um, checked out yeah he completely checked out so we uh, had a good second. I mean, I was very, very proud of that considering I had no idea how the car would handle. So, uh, fortunately the track gave us hot laps and hot lap qualifying. So after hot laps, we made an adjustment, went and hot lap qualified, made the wrong adjustment, but still qualified second. Uh, hot lap second, that's what I was gonna say. Um, made the wrong adjustment for the feature. The track went in a different way than we thought it would go so I was a little loose but it was manageable um, I hit a rut in one and two I think it messed up a part of the shock which I'm not gonna get into all that but I think it messed up a part of the shock and then I set it up in three and four and it slammed down on the right front and then turned the rear around so I kind of thought I ran out of talent and about caused a big problem but wayne james was below me and uh missed me and billy palmer was outside of me and i thought he missed me um which he did for a minute and i went down the track to try to get out of everybody's way and billy was sitting up in the corner and i guess he didn't realize i was as close as i was and kind of drove over my front Broke my tie rod and got my tire and stuff, so it was my fault whether he knocked the front of it off or not. It was still my goof up. Um, but once we went to load the car up, we had seen what was broke. So I didn't exactly run out of talent, but whenever that part broke, it didn't matter what talent I had. I, <laughs> I didn't catch that one. So uh, good night. Oh, Mr. Penguin here finally showed up we, right. we give out 18 pounds of candy 19 pounds of candy it and was I, great to see all the kids the costumes I'm telling you I loved all the costumes but I'm telling you there were some of them that was just absolutely amazing and it was just awesome to see the creativity of what came in there through the trunk or treat deal that was, it was just awesome yeah from like Optimus Prime to a monkey and a banana yeah and a big old chicken yeah a chicken and uh, probably my favorite one was a kid that looked like chucky like it was identical yeah like it, it was insane like probably my favorite costume of the night like it, it was just awesome yeah a bunch of little babies dressed up with like bears and stuff it was it was neat and uh got to meet a lot of people that we met during fan appreciation um completely forgot to give out hero cards we apologize for that had a hundred and something of them put back um we enjoyed the event it was the last event of the year we finished 13th out of 17 after having to pull off um 
got to send the shock up to PPM and then I got to put a tie rod on it and check the ball joints and then I think we're, we're okay. So, uh, we got some kind of crappy news about 411 Speedway in Seymour. Um, it's not a hundred percent. It's kind of a he said, she said deal, but it's from a reliable source. We believe that they got sold to Copart, which is an auto auction. Uh, so far, they're going to run the leftover, which is basically on Thanksgiving. We're going to try to go. Um, just to go to that track one more time because it's probably going to get filled in and uh, completely covered with wrecked cars because they, they buy a lot of properties. They seem to target properties like drag strips and racetracks and uh, that kind of stuff because usually the property is fairly big and fairly level. So um, we're going to try to do that. We're going to get all this wing stuff off and uh, put some good tires on and put the roof and stuff back on. But good night. It, anyway, it was a good night. Uh, Absolutely. Robbie Reagan came over again, hung out. Um, Sasha's papa, my wife's papa, Tim, uh, came be bopping on his scooter through the pits and we didn't have any idea uh, him and his wife Ann were coming. She's got the mainly puzzles. Uh, she does sponsor us and uh, he's said about coming all year long and he's not been able to come because it's usually past his bedtime about the time we start racing. So sorry, Tim. I mean, it's just, just the truth. So. But we really enjoyed, <laughs> really enjoyed you coming, Tim and Ann. We we really appreciate y'all. It <laughs> it surprised us. Uh, Sasha kept it a good secret. Absolutely. Uh, you know, mom and dad and uh, Sasha's nephew Skyler and uh, her sister and boyfriend and my grandfather grandfather Junior and. We just had a good time. We were just missing Kylie and Kara, but they were uh, at some Halloween festivities. So, uh, good way to end the season. And we're just going to gear up for next year. Do you have anything, anything to add, Mr. Penguin? Well, as you can see, I'm not dressed up like a penguin. Um, not yet, at least. I haven't completely killed that off just yet. Um, but no, uh, it, it was a great night, to say the least, other than the little mishap. I mean, but that's part of racing, you know. Um, but it was a great night. I'm happy with it, far as um, Kyle and the car and all the family being there on the last night at our local track um, for this year. Um, can't express how appreciative I have been and am of this past year and past three years since we started this. Um, just a little bit of an emotional roller coaster toward this end because we've had a very rough and also great season. Yeah, it went like, mm, woo, and then went no, no, right off the board. No, you forgot it. When you go up, it goes. Oh, let me. Yeah, that, that's that at the end. That's where that was at. We didn't have any DNSs or DNFs all year, and we ended up with one DNS and one DNF basically in two weeks. In, in two two races. Like, so, but again, guys, that's part of racing. I mean, if you have a complete year where you don't get a DNF, DNS, or even get to get to the feature, probably not racing hard enough, or you ain't even been racing. So. Yeah, or if all you do is win all year, that's got to suck. I mean, yeah. don't get me wrong, we like winning, but it's called racing for a reason. I don't think you appreciate week in and week out just winning. Like, I mean, what's what's the fun without some trouble? Yep. Um, guys, I say it in every video, and I don't I don't mean anything less. I appreciate y'all watching. I appreciate y'all supporting us along with all of our sponsors that have been on board with us this year. Um, 
like he said, we're going to go to try 411 and see what we can do up there. Um, it's going to be a great little deal for us, you know, because we went up there our first year. I got my butt stomped. For the leftover. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't make the show. I was like, I did qualify. Well, I was 36th or 38th out of 60-something cars, yeah. and, but I didn't make the show. Um <laughs> My heat race was terrible and I finished last, so that didn't put me in, and we just loaded the car up. This year, if we get to go, we're gonna go Friday for practice. If the car feels good and uh, our numbers are good, then we're gonna go ahead and, speaking of my grandpa, uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, race Saturday. If our times aren't good, and we don't think we're going to make the show. We're just going to get our laps in that we're after, and then we're going to come home. So, I mean, that's about it for me, guys. Um, hmm. Off-season stuff. So, uh, we don't really have a whole lot to do to the car um, over this off-season besides nothing bolts and stuff. Um, replace the body so uh off-season videos will probably be us working on those 600 cars that you see in the garage just just something to do and something we enjoy that's not just racing because there is a lot of other things we like to do and some of that stuff we'd like to share with you mm -hmm. um absolutely may not know what we're doing but we still have fun doing it that's all that matters um, you get to see me work on something for two hours. That should take me ten minutes. This is true. So like we can just time lapse this. This is we can true. time lapse it. The time lapse, I'll work on it for two hours. He can time lapse it in the amount of time it should have took me. Yeah. So y'all are good. We can just cover it on the video. Uh, yeah, you got it. Nobody's stress about it. Next weekend. Oh man. We're going on vacation. Uh, a little family deal. Uh, Happy we'll days. Go on a train ride down in Georgia. We'll probably video some of that and give y'all 10 or 15 minute little little preview view of our little vacation that we don't get to do a whole lot so uh, you'll see some familiar faces yeah so um we'll catch you guys next week so again thank you to all y'all for watching if you haven't already hit the like and subscribe button on the channel it helps us out a lot lets us know that what we're doing is letting y'all see what we do here boy he I ran that the, into the ground I, and kept trying to go with it yep yep that's just ran into the ground by as hard as that right front anyways so <laughs> anyways guys so i'll go that's a little freer than where i was going anyways so hit the like and subscribe button let us know what you think Thank you to all of our sponsors. Thank you for watching. And as always, we'll see you in the next video. Oh, I just flipped that over backwards. So and as always, peace out. <laughs>